Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, I've got to talk a bit about Daniel Dubois because I'm really happy for this kid. This is a young man who, you know, he's obviously cripplingly shy. It kind of get I get the impression he's kind of got, I don't know, he's autistic or he's got Asperger's or some, he's on some sort of spectrum. He's so sort of reserved and quiet and seems scared of, of even speaking. And yet in the ring, he's shown an awful lot of ability, you know, even when he was working his way up to the Joe Joyce fight. Now, we know what happened with the Joyce fight. He got a badly damaged eye socket and he quit. OK, and it's a perfectly justifiable way of bowing out. You know, you, he could have gone blind in that eye. There is such a thing as living to fight another day. You may remember Vitaly Klitschko with a shoulder injury. He quit and Larry Merchant you know, berated him terribly, saying he didn't have the minerals for, for to, or to be a, a world-class heavyweight. What happened? Vitaly Klitschko ended up WBC heavyweight champion. He gave Lennox to his hell, fought through a horrendously chopped up eye. Um, I think it was down to the bone, actually, the cut. And proved himself to have, you know, the minerals that Merchant and so many others dismissed him as having. And, and he said after that fight with Chris Bird when he quit, Vitaly Klitschko said, look, if you've got a tyre on a car and it's punctured, it's flat, you don't keep riding it or you ruin the tyre. I'm not going to ruin my, my shoulder. And, you know, I, I, I don't blame some fighters for bailing out. Trinidad was another one who, when he quit against uh, Margarito, Margarito in the return, before before the return, was berating him, saying, you quit. He said, yeah, I did quit. Do you know what? I'd quit again under similar circumstances. Because this idea that a fighter is meant to fight through absolutely everything, give literally everything, including their life, for our entertainment, when we're simply going to move on to the next person, not really remember them or care about them. No, I, I, I think there, you can justify... Um, bailing out under certain cir certain circumstances. Such was the case with Daniel Dubois against Joe Joyce. Now, the fight, which was only a few months ago, of course, several, you know, less than six months ago, was the one that really rubber-stamped him as being, you know, a triple quitter, not triple D, but you know, <laughs> tri triple knee, as they were saying, um, was the one against uh, Usek. And he eventually, yeah, I mean, essentially he did quit. He just, he'd lost his way mentally in that fight. He didn't know what to do. He didn't see how he could win. And he, he kind of bailed out. Yeah, he, he did quit in that fight. Um, but again, you can learn from these things. You can learn from uh, uh, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, you, you can learn. It's not just about, you know, boxing, as they say, as, as Adam Booth famously said, in training, it's 90% physical, 10% mental. In the ring, it's 90% mental, 10% physical, you know, if you've prepared. And so Dubois went away, got this opportunity to fight everybody's favourite drug cheat, this gargantuan man, you know, 333 pounds of him, um, a real loudmouth, the polar opposite of Dubois. It was quite funny seeing Dubois saying, I'm going to beat you like your daddy. It's almost like someone had fed him that line and he thought, I'm going to stick with that line. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what was coming back at him uh, in the press conference. Uh, Miller was making fun of him, saying that he just, just lost his virginity and all this, which <laughs> may be true. I have no idea. I don't really care. But Dubois was still chuffed. He was still grinning away. Hey, I'm going to spank you like your daddy. And he only went out and did it. <laughs> it's this amazing thing. <laughs> and I was so happy for him. I was so happy for the kid because... You know, it was it was kind of a heartwarming thing. He actually, it was an uplifting thing to see this young man who's been berated and ridiculed and called, you know, like Lenny from a Steinbeck novel, <laughs> just be, you know, totally and utterly smashed to bits. It had his, you know, his whole manhood um, questioned on social media and, you know, this bizarre world we live in of social media. For him to come through it and to answer questions and to do it the tough way, because in those early rounds, those first four or five rounds, Miller was in that fight and was putting some very genuine heat on Dubois. And Dubois could have capitulated, but didn't. Okay, Don't forget, whatever Miller's shortcomings are, 
as a fighter, his technical shortcomings. 333 pounds is a lot of person in front. That's a lot of mass in front of you. And if it's coming towards you and putting what well, early on for the first two or three rounds looked to me like pretty educated pressure, you know, high guard, keep moving, keep keep waddling after him, you know, make him think, give him flashbacks to the Usyk and the Joyce fights, you know, land your own punches, step it up a bit in rounds two and three, which he was doing. Miller was fighting a pretty decent fight and Dubois was forced to fight at a pace he didn't necessarily like. He was throwing an awful lot of punches early on and in fact, he slowed down. His feet were moving quick as well. He slowed down sort of around the midway point and he thought, is this it? Is he going to be forced to quit again? Is Miller going to just steamroll him, roll over him? I mean, Dubois looked tiny compared to Miller. Um, but no, it didn't happen. In fact, in the second half of the fight, Dubois stuck to the game plan, did what he was supposed to do, walked through the fire, controlled himself mentally and emotionally, and actually the cherry on the cake, of course, was that stoppage in the last 10 seconds of the fight, which was fantastic. And I was really, really delighted for Daniel Dubois because I think that puts him definitely back in the picture for some more big paydays in Saudi or wherever the hell it is. Um, this is a good young fighter, a good young heavyweight we got here. He's not, you know, <laughs> he's not going to be Lennox Lewis. You know, he's not going to be Riddick Bowe. He's not going to be Muhammad Ali. But he, he's a good British level, uh, or world class, good British world class level heavyweight. And I'm really glad that, that he actually succeeded, really glad, especially against Miller. Because watching Miller get, you know, his comeuppance for all, all the times he's shamelessly cheated, there was a certain poetic justice to that. And But I have to say this, this is the irony of it. This is so ironic to me. And I'm someone who loathes Miller. But the fact that he took that beating like a man actually makes me respect him more. It does show that he has a certain moral code, if you like. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to fight on. And I was quite, I was quite taken with that. I've got to be honest with you. All the stuff, all the videos I've made slagging off Miller. But I've got to be honest. I, I thought, you know, you took it like a man. And what a jaw the guy's got. I mean, Christ almighty, he was taking salvos of full-blooded, flush, heavyweight punches from a big, world-class banger like Dubai. He was taking them. And he was wobbling and shaking and doing his blancmange routine. But my God, he took them. I have to say, Miller has moved up a little bit on my my Richter scale of appro <laughs> of approving uh, fighters. But yeah, I can't forgive all of, all that cheating though, but hey, you know, maybe maybe that beating was poetic justice. I don't know. But anyway, what do you think of Daniel Dubois? Where do you think he goes from here? Who do you think's next? I think the Joe Joyce rematch is ideal. Joyce coming off two bad defeats to Zhang. One of them, uh, he got ironed out totally. You know, the juggernaut, the indestructible chin has finished. Um, put him in with Dubois. Can Dubois outbox him, do what he did with with Miller? Or will he get found out again? Now, if he can take that rematch and beat Joyce, Dubois is right back in it. Right back in it. I mean, he's taken a huge step forward anyway. But to beat Joyce in a rematch, that would be a very, very impressive achievement. So that's what I think. But what do you think? Who do you think you should fight next? What do you think of the performance against Miller? Leave your comments below. Anything you've got to say, say it. Um, thank you for your time. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. And hit the like button because that helps us out as well. They count the likes. I don't know why, but they do. And yep, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.